that's Joan. This week, we're looking at transfers, not to the majors, but to the minors, to clubs or diamonds. So it's a different situation because when you're transferring to the majors, you would transfer after partners opened one no trump any time you have a five or longer card major. But often with the minors, if you've got five cards of your clubs or diamonds, or even six cards, it often is better to play the hand in no trumps, not to play the minors or not to tell the opponents about the minors at all. So when do we make a transfer to clubs or diamonds? The answer is usually when you've got a really weak hand, sort of under seven points, with a, say a six or seven card minor, or a strong hand where you think it might be great to play in a minor suit slam. So in these instances, transfer to the minor by bidding the suit underneath your minor, partner will accept the transfer and then you either pass or you make a new bid. Some people like to play four suit transfers and this is my preference where if you bid two spades over one no trump, it says partner please bid clubs, I have a club suit. And if you bid two no trumps, it says partner I have diamonds, please bid diamonds. Other people choose to put all their minor transfers into one bid which is two spades after partner has opened one no trump. So you choose but often the reason for a transfer, when you're weak, is to allow the stronger hand to be declarer. And you can't always do this unless you play four suit transfers. So try the hand I've given you, and it is a hand that you wouldn't want to play any more than your minor. Many times though, as I mentioned, if you hold a minor, and a few points like seven or eight or nine, you're much better to play in no trumps because it will score better. But on the occasion that you do want to play in the minor, you need to sort out with partner which type of transfer to the minor you'd like to use. Zoom lessons are going really well and I'm planning the next sets for February. And because the world is once again uh, plagued by the virus. Uh, my online games are definitely Saturdays, Sydney time, one o'clock on BBO, Tuesdays, one o'clock BBO, and there's a special session on Thursday nights, seven to nine on Real Bridge for a supervised, relaxed help with play session. I hope you'll be able to join at least one of those. And it's a good time as a member of my online school to be going over lots of the lessons and the videos and the hand reviews and playing the hands of the lessons so that you can get ready for 2022 when the clubs open and we're all ready to go back to bridge. Have a good week everyone. Partners opened one no trump 15, 16 or 17 and look what we've got only one queen in our hand. Well, at first you might think pass because we haven't got enough points. But when partner opens one no trump, you know there'll be a diamond fit because they will have at least two diamonds in their balanced hand and you've got seven. So weak hands with long suits like this do not play well in no trumps. One of the reasons is that partner will have trouble reaching your hand to enjoy the diamonds in no trumps. It's much better to try to make the long suit a trump suit. So playing transfers to the minors and playing four suit transfers, the bid we would make on this is two no trumps. With minor transfers, if you've got clubs, it would go one no trump past two spades and if you've got diamonds, it would be one no trump past two no trumps. This is not a natural raise. You have to agree with partner that that's a transfer if you're playing transfers. There's another way to show a balanced eight or nine point hand. So partners bid three diamonds, we would just pass, happily get out of it. 
and hope we can play in diamonds. Well, partners got the worst hand they could have, really. Only two diamonds to the jack, but it doesn't matter because we've got seven. Now, in terms of losers, we've got two heart losers after we win the ace, two definite diamond losers, the ace and the king, no spade losers, and one club loser. So do we want to draw trumps first? The answer is probably not because we might like to play spades first and use our ace of clubs as an entry. What we're doing is taking what's called a roughing finesse. Now, instead of trumping, we would discard either a heart or a club. I'll discard a heart. Ah, that won the trick. That means that East has the king and chose not to play it. So of course we would play another spade. Now they cover and we can trump. And that has set up the ten of spades as a winner. Now the only way to reach it is with the ace of clubs. So we should probably play it before trumps because if we've got to lose to the ace and king of trumps, they will then continue with hearts and then clubs. So let's play a club up to the ace. And it's not a big deal if the ten of spades gets trumped. We can pitch a losing heart or a losing club. Instead, the spades broke 4 4 4 1, so we're in very good shape. We could now play a diamond. They've risen with the ace, and now they're wisely taking their club queen trying to take their hearts, but that didn't work. Now we've got four diamonds and the jack. We could either play the queen dropping the jack, or if we want to be rather careful. Now all the diamonds are good, and we've made ten tricks. So there are times when the minors need to be shown, and this is such a time. This hand would not do well in no trumps, because if the opponents first of all led hearts, then we'd win the ace, but then after that we've got to lose to the ace and king of diamonds, and we've just got no entries to the south hand in no trumps. So the opponents would have a good time with us on this hand. They would lead hearts and take their heart winners after we've won the ace. Then they would win a diamond and then they would switch to clubs and then they would take their club winners as well. But three diamonds was a perfect...